Hello friends and thank you for tuning in to the Lloyd Morgan Revivals today. My name is Joe Lunn and I'm excited to be here with you. Looking forward to sharing some pictures with you of the work that is being done in the country of Haiti with the 40th church that uh, Faith in God Missions, the Lloyd Morgan Revivals has been a part of through the years. I'm really excited to share these pictures with you and I hope God will bless your hearts as we sh uh, view them together. This first picture here, Joe, is where this part of the church is done enough that they can have school under it for the kids already. Yeah, it's uh, remarkable what they do there to, to provide for the kids. They uh, Not only are they educating them, but they're giving them food. They're giving them a, a, a place to stay dry, a place to stay out of the sun, and they're feeding them. I mean, it's just it's a wonderful what's taking place in this village, all revolving around this church right there, and it's the work of the Lord. You know, this church here was destroyed or got a lot of damage when they had the hurricane, the uh, earthquake. And uh, they were still worshiping there until it just got so bad they couldn't. But they decided to go ahead and build them a new church. And you see, this is just the kids, some of the kids that are at the school. And from the school that they had the church to start with, this is when it started coming back to the school. And I think it's, it's important to, to say as well that uh, these churches, when they, when they are built in these villages, they are the community center. They're the places people go when there's a need. They're the places people go when they have no food, no shelter. Um, it serves such a crucial role in this community there. And here they are working hard out there in the, in the sun getting this up. And it's, it's going to be a big church. It is going to be a big church. You can see where they're tying some steel together there. They've yeah. already, already started laying the block, getting some of the steel up. We'll be bringing pictures from time to time showing the progress of the church. Mm -hmm. This church here is in the town of Gunther Village. And this is a big church. I don't remember the exact dimensions of it, but it's 60, I want to say 60 by 100. It's going to be a big church. Again, like you just said, it's, going, it's their, really the community, mm -hmm. where the community has the needs, where they all come together. This built church here is supposed to be constructed for earthquakes. It's supposed to have the extra, whatever they do to it, to help withstand earthquakes. And those were some pictures there we were looking at of uh, Brother Simeon. He's the, the pastor there. Not only is he the pastor of that congregation, he's also a pastor of pastors. Uh, he has a number of pastors there that, that uh, he mentors and, and helps lead. And uh, he, is a, he is a worker. He's a, he's a hard worker. He starts his day very early, uh, spends a lot of time in prayer, and now he's out there and he's, uh, he's seeing to it that this church gets built and, it's, and they're doing a great job. You can see there's a lot of blocks stacked up there. Them, them guys lay those blocks pretty quick. They, they don't drag their feet when it comes to that. I know the last church we talked about how long it take, took to build it, but we didn't understand exactly where that church was located, mm -hmm. you, that you could not get to it. Everything had to be carried in by hand. This one here is just right off one of the main roads. Mm -hmm. Well, and we have to use that word main road loosely. It's, it's, still, a, uh, it's still a chore to get there, but... Uh, it is a lot easier than the, uh, than the church built deep in the mountains of Haiti, but uh, they have a, a lot of workers there just donating their time. Uh, the fellow pastors there in the country of Haiti that come to get this church built. If you notice there, Joe, you see the gravel and you saw sand. All together. They mix all that stuff by hand. Mm -hmm. Cement trucks are not coming there doing that no. farm right now. This right here is the engineer and the architect. They have to stay on the job site while it's being completed mm -hmm. to make sure it's all done according to code to withstand the earthquakes. And they get in, I think we have a picture coming, of they, they get in and do some work as well, lay in, lay in the block, and uh, so they're not just there to, to supervise, but uh, here, here we go, and you just you see them just working hard. I, it's, it's very warm. It's, uh, the sun is beating down. Uh, there's another one of the guys there that's uh, this that's, getting the block laid, ready to go. Again, we ask you, you know, you continue to stay in support and prayer for us as we try to work in this church. It's be number 40th church and it's in the country of Haiti. And we're looking for the Lord to do great things here. Uh, we talked with Brother Simeon this past week. He said the church is coming right along. He's going to be sending some more pictures, updated pictures of it. As we get the pictures in, we'll try to bring the pictures on and let you see the progress being done. Thank you folks for uh, watching that with us. I, I hope that was a blessing to you to see the work that's being done in the country of Haiti. 
we ask that you would just uh, commit to praying for the number 40 church that's being built, the workers that are down there, that uh, they would stay healthy and safe, and that uh, that church would serve as a, as a lighthouse there in that little community as the people flock to it uh, to hear the Word of God preached by the faithful pastor there. And we thank you for your support that's going right down there into the country of Haiti as this church is being built. Thank you and may God bless you.